I'm going to make a little demo, oops, a little demo video um, with the new camera position. The camera is actually now exactly above the flame, and I hope that I'm not going to burn the lens or anything. Um, I'm going to make a small um, or short demo on how to make a striped cane. And I like to make fairly small amounts of striped cane, so I just make a small barrel because I'm going to make this one for uh, frog eyes. I'm going to make a black barrel that I'm building up <coughs> at the end of a fairly thick mandrel. And the advantage of working on the end of a mandrel versus working on the end of a rod is that when you have a small amount of this and when you heat it up before you want to pull it out, sometimes the flame is wider than this little barrel that I'm making and if you had a rod on the left hand side then the rod would get warm first and would pull out before the little barrel pulls out. So I find it really much easier to do small, um, small canes like this on the end of a mandrel. And if you were to make a twisted cane, for example, and you built that up at the end of a mandrel, you don't have to twist quite as hard as you would if you had it on the end of a rod because the diameter of the mandrel is smaller, so it twists faster. Okay, this is not a particularly good job building up my barrel here, but it kind of goes to show that you can be fairly relaxed at this point because it doesn't have to be a perfect barrel. So once I have my glass on there, I'm going to roll it on a marver just to get it more into a barrel shape. And the bigger the diameter of this barrel, the more stripes you can place because you just have more room. And I'm going to make this on purpose fairly short barrel just to show you how small you can do this. So you don't have to spend an hour preparing your cane. And I'm going to make eight stripes. So I have this storeboard white stringer here. And I'm touching it down there where the mandrel is. And then I move the little barrel just the way that I move would move a bead if I would apply a stringer sideways. So I don't move the stringer. I move the amount of glass here. So and then heat it up, make sure it's it's attached and now I'm pointing the opposite side towards myself so I can see exactly where the first string is set and I can kind of cut this barrel in half with the second stringer. The reason I'm touching the white stringer onto the mandrel down here is that if I would just start for example here on the side of the barrel oftentimes the stringer would pull backwards when you melt it in order to pull it out and then you lose a lot of usable cane. You see that I don't put very much heat on my string. I don't really melt the string. I just make sure that it's attached. That way I have the full amount of glass from the stringer and every stripe is going to be the same size. If you get the stringer very, very hot and you would actually melt it onto the barrel, then it's very difficult to get the same amount of white every single stringer. See I pull it towards the center here and I have three more stripes to go. And I hope that it shows in this video that oops, I just string I broke off. No big deal. That I'm really moving this little barrel on the mandrel rather than moving the stringer. And the stringer is not really glowing. Just give it enough heat that it will attach to the to the black. See, you have to heat that a little bit up and touch it down there on the mandrel. Then she just heat it enough that it will stick to the barrel and pull it to the front. And now I take the same rod that I use, the same black rod that I used to make the barrel because it's already warm and heat the tip of this keep your little block warm and then I'm just pushing it right onto the white stringer and I'm trying to just make sure that every single one of those white stringers is touched by that black blob because that way it's not going to pull backwards. 
And this string right here looks as if it's going to pull backwards pretty soon. So I heat it up. And with some tweezers, I can actually pull it backwards to prevent it from going that way. And now I just heat all this. I just melt all these white stringers down. That's not a very regular con um, distribution of the stringer because I didn't put that much attention into it. I just wanted to show you how you know, to make this fairly simple cane. And I wanted to test my new camera position and make sure that it works and that you can see what I'm doing. And then, kinda, then I can make a little bit more complicated demo later on. Okay, now I'll see that the black starts getting kind of a dark orange, reddish orange. And I'm moving it a little bit like that to just kind of speed up the melting a little bit by distributing the heat in the mass of glass. And this one I'm going to pull fairly thin because I need some frog eye material. If I would use this for other things, I would leave it a little bit thicker. But this one I want to pull thin because for the frog eyes you need a very small amount. Okay, well typically I would take this out of the flame and kind of pull it out over my lap, but I want to show you, you know, how I'm pulling this. So I'm doing this right above the <laughs> See, <clears throat> that's what I wouldn't not typically wouldn't do because you know, because it's warm, but I wanted to show you. So <laughs> I just showed you what not to do, what not to wear. So you want to take it away from the flame and pull it out, but you get the idea. <laughs>